Okay, so in this lesson, we're going to be running through a mesh. I'll be explaining what it is, how it's used, why we're doing this, and then I'll show you how you can add this to the shapes that you created in the previous lesson too. Okay, so firstly, what is a mesh? This is something that allows for you to see all the faces and the surfaces of the shape, even though they may not be visible. So I'm talking about, say, when you draw a shape, the back part of the shape isn't visible. So adding these meshes, it gives you a better understanding of the form and the structure that this shape has. This will come in useful later on in this class, where we'll be adding values to these shapes. But for now, we're just going to get a grips to meshes, adding them to the shapes that we've already created, and just getting used to how they work, and just be able to visualize the shape even more. Okay, let's just get straight into it. Let me show you how to add these meshes to the shapes that we just created. Okay, so in the previous lesson, we drew some shapes. Um, we got, I hope you got a better understanding of this. So what we're going to be doing now is we're going to be looking at a mesh. Um, this is something that I like to, to use to kind of understand the, the way the shape is formed, just to kind of get a better understanding of the thing I'm drawing, just so when I do come to the value section of this class, it's gonna help us massively. So here's an example of a bunch of 3D shapes uh, with the meshes added. So as you can see, it just makes it, like say you can see through the shapes. It's almost like a wireframe where you can see through the shape and you can see how the shape is built up, uh, the surfaces and the faces. So what we're going to be doing in this lesson is we're going to be adding these sort of lines to the shapes that we've already created. Again, just to get a better understanding of the shapes that, we, that, that we've made. So I'm gonna get the shapes that we just created. So let's start off with the, let's start off with the cubes. So what we're going to be doing, like an example, I just want you to start adding in some lines to try to make, so you can see the, the other side um, of the shape. So say here, for example, we haven't added both sides in, but in here, we've already started. So these, these lines here, it just allows you to get a better understanding. But then also I want you to try cut the face in half uh, in order to get used to, used to doing this. Let me just move my pad out of the way. So let's just go in and the best way to do it is just find the, the midpoint in each each surface and then just go in and add in your mesh. It's like so. So for these let's 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 draw the the, the, the back the back face. So we've got our vanishing points over this way. It's like so, and then uh, let's do the same for this one. So we've got a vanishing point over here somewhere. So we're just gonna so that's it for cubes. Let's jump into the cylinders now. So, like I said, remember the closer you are to the horizon line, the narrower the shape would be, and then the further away you get, the more it'll open up. So if you're in between, it's gonna be somewhat in between. And you may be wondering, like, why do I need to know this? Why why we why why are we why are we learning this part of, of the class? But it's good to know, um, to say, for example, if you're drawing, you're drawing something and there's something in the middle of the shape. Um, so let me, let me show you an example of why this is important. Let's, let's finish this first. So we've got our... Like so. So let me, let me show you an example of why, why we'd need to know this. Um, so, because I'm looking down on the shape, I want the bottom to be a lot more open, so close to a circle, and then the top to be a lot more narrow. So, let's draw in the, the perpendicular line. And so, the reason for the mesh, so say for example, you want to draw the, the, the cup warmer. So, it's going to be in between this one and this one. So, so that's something that's really useful to know, hence why I thought, that's why when we're covering these meshes, it's important. Okay, so now let's move on to spheres. Okay, so there we've got ourselves a we've got ourselves a few circles. So what we're going to be doing is it's very similar to what we've discussed. So imagine you're looking at it straight on, that's going to be the shape. But say for example you're looking at it from a an upwards direction, you're going to be able to see a if you were to draw a line all the way around, you'd see something like this, and then the the, the center line would be there. That's if you get the ball, and then you just tilt it ever so ever so slightly. But say, for example, we we tilt the ball and then we turn it a little bit. So if you turn the ball, so say, for example, if I was to, if I'm looking down on the on the on the on the, on the sphere, I'm going to get a much much bigger circle. See how the how the sphere now is made up of, of these shapes. Do practice um, adding some meshes 
to some of your shapes. We've got, we've got spheres, we've got cylinders, and then we've got cubes as well. Uh, just to kind of gain yourself, get yourself a better understanding of how all these work together. Okay, so this concludes the first section of this class where we talk about perspective. In the next section, we're going to be talking about value. In the next lesson, I'll talk to you about how you can create all the different values, the different techniques, and how you can get started. Let's get to it. Mm -hmm.